this application is all about inventory reports you get multiple types of reports in one module it's like all in one so let's see which all reports are there in this particular module so for that we will go to inventory and under inventory and reporting we have all the inventory analysis reports like stock analysis abc report uh, age breakdown report export stock inventory valuation report non-moving products every report every kind of inventory report is available in this module so let's see how this works so first we will uh, see the inventory uh, stock analysis abc report so if i go there i just have to add the from date first so let me add a date i'll add the end date i will add the company you can either add the category or the product it's up to you and you want a classification for a class b class or c class or all the classes you can choose that and then you have the option over here to either get an excel report for this or you just directly want the data or you want the graph so let's see how the excel report looks like so i will download the report and this is how the Excel report looks like of the stock ABC report. You get all the details of the start date and date, products, annual num, number of units sold, standard cost, annual consumption values, percentage of annual consumption value, and you have the ABC classification here. So this is your ABC stock report. Now let's go back and we will see the same report in the form of data or graph. Let's see how that looks. So I'll just add the date. I'll add the company, I'll add the product category, I'll keep it all and I'll just add data. So here you can see I've directly got the data in the system and then from here I can export all obviously. This is also possible. So either you can download the way I first showed you via the direct Excel report or you can just download the data and then get the Excel report. So let's go back again and this time I'll show you the graph report so i'll add the date the company and the product category and we'll go and see graph so this is our graph report for the a class and the b class so this is how the stock analysis report for the abc ratio looks like now let's go back to reporting and we will see the stock age breakdown report so here i need to add the company and the days of the breakdown do you want to start from 1 to 30 1 to 60 1 to 20 1 to 10 1 to 120 it's up to you then you can also choose the product category or just choose multiple products if you wish to and you can get an excel for this so if i get an excel and download the excel this is how it will look like you can see i have the stock age breakdown report starting from 1 to 30 and then it goes on i have the products of the category that i've selected and i have the total stock stock value and uh, the same goes for multiple other days so this is how my uh, stock age breakdown report looks like now let's go and we will see the stock age report again i will add the category here you can also add the product if you wish to and for the same you can get excel data and graph all the three so let's see the excel i will download the excel and here it is this is our stock age report where you can see the current stock stock value stock percentage value stock quantity and the oldest stock value as well this is on the category the saleable office furniture category so you can have multiple products or multiple categories it's up to you now let's go and see the fsn xyz analysis report so here you have the option to add fast moving slow moving or non-moving products uh, or else you can add all of them as well and for the same, it goes for the X class, Y class, and Z class, or you can either have all of them as well in the report. So here you can choose the company, the warehouse, the product category, and the start date and the end date. So let me add the start date. I will also add the end date and I will get the Excel report for the same. Let me download this and open this so this is this is my fsn xyz analysis report you can see you have the average stock here you have the xyz classification the fsn xyz classification and individual xyz fsn classification you have the stock value current stock as well so this is my fsn uh, xyz analysis report now let's go there and we will see how it looks like looks like in the form of a graph so i will just add the correct category, the start date, end date quickly. Let me add the date. 
the data will look exactly like the graph and then you can export the data uh, sorry the data will look exactly like the excel and then you can export the data from the system or else you can directly download the excel as well it's up to you uh, so let's see how the graph looks so this is how the graph looks you have the fx here and nx here so this is the graph of your fsn xyz analysis report now let's see how the warehouse stock rotation report looks like so i will choose the company I will choose the warehouse. I will choose the product category. You can also have the product individually. You can also select uh, an up-to-date, but if you don't want to do an up-to-date and you want a custom date, you can always choose the custom date from here, from the start date and the end date, and you can get an Excel for the same. So let's download this and open this. So this is my stock rotation report. You get the opening stock, sales, returns, purchase, internal, out, in, everything. You, you even have the adjustments and the production and transits and closings at the end. So this is uh, how the stock rotation report looks like. Now let's go back uh, and see the other report that is warehouse turnover analysis report. So I'll just choose the company in the warehouse. I'll go the the product category and choose the category you can also choose individual products i will add the start date and the end date and for the same you also get excel data and graph in the report form so here i will first download the excel and let's see how this looks so this is my warehouse turnover analysis report you have the opening stock closing stock average stock analysis sorry sales and turnover ratio and you have the starting uh, report and ending report date here on the top and you have the category reports products for the same so you can get the same report in the form of data as well or else you can get the same report in the form of graph as well now let's see how the stock export stock report looks like so here you can generate report based on either location or warehouse so if it's a warehouse you can select the warehouse do you want only the active products or all the products you can choose that you can also choose the date from here let's say i'm selecting the date and this is my to date display red text for negative quantity if you want that much easier to read and find obviously so you can enable that option as well now here under category you can select the category for yourself and under the supplier as well you can select the name of the supplier let's say i'll choose all of them and i will select those and now here you can either print a PDF or print an Excel. So let's see how the PDF looks first. So I will print the PDF. Okay, so here is our export stock information report. So we have these two products. The cost price was this, the available quantity is this, the incoming quantity, outgoing quantity. You have different color variations for the quantity as well, total sold quantity, purchase quantity, and this is the time frame obviously so uh, this is how the pdf report for export stock will look like now let's see how it looks like uh, if it's an excel report so let's go back to export stock or else you can also uh, see the location wise let's see the excel uh, with the location so here i can add um, multiple locations let's see this is at the two in also want inventory adjustments okay so i want this uh, three locations and I will add the start date and the end date here the end date display red text for negative quantity obviously uh, you can choose the category as well let's say I want this all categories okay and select this for the suppliers you can add maybe I want all of them and you can print an excel so let's see the how, how the Excel report looks like. I've downloaded it here. And with the different information, uh, for the PDF, we got different information. Uh, for Excel, we are going through for different information. So here I have the product information, the available quantity, incoming quantity. You have the outgoing on hand forecasted total sold quantity, purchase quantity, and the valuation for the past uh, partners and customers, partners and vendors. These are the three different locations that we chose. Here you can see the negative quantities are marked in red. So this is how it will look like if you have any negative quantity in the report. So let's go back and now let's go through another report. Now let's see another report. So I'll go to reporting and I'll go to stock rotation. 
So here you have the stock rotation report. You can start the end date for the same. So let's say I'll pick this date and it will be until this date. I'll save this and do I want to include all the warehouses or just only one warehouse? So it's up to you. I anyway have one warehouse. So I'll select the warehouse and I'll download the Excel report. So here, let me download the report and see how it looks like. So I'll open the report. And this is how my stock rotation report looks like. You have the cost, sales price, opening stock, the sales in pre-period, the warehouse transfer, out, last sale, everything, the purchase, and the closing stock as well. So now let's go back and we will see another report. So I'll go to reporting and I'll go to inventory valuation report. I can select the company here. I can select the locations as well if I wish to, or else I can just select the warehouse as well. And do I want to filter it by product or the category? It's up to you. And uh, you can get the evaluation for this time period, or maybe you can add another time period as well. So do you want a summary or do you do not want a summary? So it's up to you. And here you can choose the category. Let's say I'll select this particular category and I'll now print the PDF report. See? So here is my inventory detail analysis valuation report report. So this is my inventory valuation report. You have the name, the category, the costing method, cost price, beginning, internal received, sales, any adjustments, the valuation and everything could be received. Now let's go back and we will get the same report in the Excel as well, but this time with a summary. So I will download the Excel report with the same. You print Excel and download the report and open it. So this is my stock valuation summary report. So this is just a summary and hence you just got the categorized uh, summary report. But let's go back and I will maybe remove the summary. So let's see how that looks. If I have not added the summary, then if I have not added the summary, it will look something like the PDF report that we received. So let's say I'll do category and I'll add the start date and end date as well again. I will not add the summary as, as of now. I will add the category directly and print the Excel report for the same. So let me download this and open it for you. And here you can see it's without the summary. So another report of ours was a summary report and hence we got the summary of just the category. But now we didn't want the summary. We wanted an elaborate report and hence we got the elaborate report just like we got the PDF report. Now let's go back and see another report that is maybe product recommendation. So I want the analysis of last 365 days. Uh, you can add the warehouse. You can choose the vendor as well if you uh, want. And you can add the line as well here for the particular product. So let's say I want to select all of these. And I will choose the vendor here as well. Let's say this is the particular vendor or maybe i can add this okay so sale starts from this particular uh, date it's according to the days we have entered here and for this we can uh, download the excel report so let's download this and open this so this is our product recommendation report so you have the products here warehouse the current stock and the sales count so this was the product recommendation report for the last 365 days for this particular vendor. So you can have different vendor reports similarly. Now let's see the inventory coverage report. So analysis in last 365 days, I will have the warehouse selected here. I want the filter products for all out of stock products or available products. I can choose that. Let's say um, I want it for both of them. So I'll select that. And I will add a line for all the products and I'll select them. And now I can download either the Excel report or the PDF report. Now let's download the PDF report for this. So I will download the PDF report. And here is our PDF report. So this is how our PDF report will look like for inventory coverage report. You have the product here, the from and the to date, uh, then the opening stock, sales, forecasted stock, closing stock, and everything. So this is your inventory coverage report. 
Now let's go back and we will see another report that is non-moving products. So here you can choose the start date and the end date. So let me choose the start period and the end period. Choose that. You can also select the warehouse and you can download the Excel report for the same. So I will download this and open this. So this is my non-moving products report. Here you can see you have your products, available quantity, last sale time, and then you have the uh, duration from last sale in days. You have the other details on the top. So this is how your non-moving product report will look like. Now let's go back to reporting and we'll see another report that is warehouse out of stock analysis report. So next number of days inventory, let's say I just want 365 days I'll choose the company here. I can choose the warehouse as well. You can choose the category or the product. It's up to you. And then you can choose the start date and the end date. So I'll just choose the from date and the end date and I can get the Excel for the same as well. So I will choose the download option and open this. And here are, is our inventory out of stock report. So here you can see you have the category, the current stock, outgoing, incoming, virtual stock, demand quantity, in stock quantity, and many other columns that says, that gives you all the details like FSN classification as well. You have the out of stock quantity value and everything. So this is how your inventory out of stock report will look like. Now we will see another report that is inventory overstock report. So you can add the days here. Let's say I want to add 65 days. You can select the warehouse. You can select the products here as well. You can choose multiple products. Um, let me choose a few of these. Okay, it's enough. Uh, advanced stock duration days, you can add that here as well. And then you can download a PDF report or the Excel. So let's see a PDF report for this. So I will uh, download the PDF report for the same. And here we have our PDF report. So this is how our inventory over stock report will look like for the duration, advanced stock duration. And you have the warehouse here. And this is your PDF report. You can get a similar report in an Excel format as well. So let's download this and open this as well. So here is our inventory overstock report. Uh, this is the overstock quantity, value, duration, and the number of warehouse. So this is how the inventory overstock report looks like. So this is all about the module. Uh, I hope this was helpful to you. If you have any questions, please leave your question in the comment section below and we will get back to you with an answer. Also, do not forget to like our video and subscribe to our channel. Until then, thank you.